Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube channel and on my video today. I appreciate you being here. Today's one is really, really, really weird. So Tana Mojo and James Charles have reunited and I guess are besties again. So what happened was Coachella happened. That was what happened. Um, if I could say that's what happened enough. Um, by the way, Coachella looked so bad this year. Like, Coachella is so unappealing to me in general. But this year specifically, th with the trend of, like, celebrities trying to distance themselves from influencers by, like, dressing, you know, like, boring, and then the influencers are the ones dressing up, and they're trying to make this disconnect. It, like, so much about Coachella used to just be, like, fun with, like, outfits and fun with that. So whenever you start stripping even that back from Coachella, Coachella has nothing because the people that go there don't even know how to enjoy, like, you know, a festival. I mean, they're, it's just, like, the worst crowd. I, it looks so unappealing to me. If you've ever been to Coachella, let me know. Um, but I just think that, like, it's, and in the desert and the dust, there's nothing appealing to me about Coachella. Um, no matter if Mariah Carey was headlining, Bonnie Tyler was headlining, you will not catch me there. Um, but anyway, fans were, like, a little bit confused because Tana and James publicly do not like each other. Like, they do not like each other. They have made this clear. They've made fun of each other many times. I mean, Tana would drag James on social media all the time, making fun of him and stuff. Completely warranted, by the way. Um, and so it was confusing to the fans whenever they open up Tana's Snapchat story on Coachella day and they see Tana and James together which is a very rare phenomenon because again these two people do not like each other and Tana very much so distanced herself properly from James after all of the um how do I say this uh, young boy scandals so to see her in this I saw this and didn't really think shout out to got from her um I looked at this and, and kind of thought nothing of it I was like oh Tana was probably really fucked up in this picture and, you know, just took it and thought it was funny. She wrote, showed up matching to Coachella day one, drunk and had no choice but to take this picture. So people really started talking after this because they were like, oh my god, they're hanging out. Has Tana gone back on, like, her criticism of, you know, what James has been accused of? And does James now like Tana? He's spoken against her so many times. So, on Tana's podcast, she actually spoke about it, and I think it's super interesting. So, this is on the Tana and James Coachella reunion, episode 32, on Cancelled the Podcast. Gonna watch this for fair use commentary purposes. I think it's super interesting hearing what Tana now has to say about James and why she feels that she kind of has to make it up with James and that she has to like James Charles because they, like, can't escape each other. Like, their social circles are now so close that she cannot avoid him. And she's now friendly with him and stuff. And so a lot of people are just really taken back by this just because Tana was always so outspoken against all of the James Charles scandals. And one thing I appreciate is when people call James Charles out or call, you know, people out for, like, behavior involving minors and all, like, they keep to their morals because, I mean, it's, you know, it's, like, a really, really, really bad thing to be accused of and stuff. So I, I don't know. We'll watch the clip and we'll talk about it. But anyway. First of all, tell Natalie that. Yeah. No, you do a lot of brand deals. <laughs> you, I feel like I spend at least <clears throat> once a week, like, envious of a brand deal you got that I, like, could never get because I'm not brand safe enough. I don't think that's true. But uh, the Reddit threads are wild, though. But it's so fun to see, like, what a lot of ta a lot of things on Reddit about all of us are very correct. Which is fun. I'm worried I'm about to be. I posted a photo today. That one I just showed you. Really showed and by the way, they just posted a new one today as well. Like, hanging out. And it was like, we don't know how to unblock each other on Instagram, but at least we're not unblocked in real life. So they're like actively hanging out again as friends, apparently. Um, okay, well, here's the thing. I show up to Coachella. I'm trying to be a little more low-key with my fits this year. I'm trying to just not care as much, like, just, like, whatever. And my day one fit, I was mm -hmm. super stoked on. And it is very basic. Like, I know it's a basic ass fit. And you wore the same outfit as... Yeah, like, it was a little diesel denim fit. And I was, like, m stoked on whatever. And I show up, and I'm walking around, and I'm like, what? She goes diesel. That's interesting. I've never heard it pronounced like that. Diesel. Diesel. She goes diesel. Is that how you say it? It's diesel, right? I'm kind of like no one else is wearing diesel no, I, as much as I. No, I'm second guessing myself. Diesel, diesel, huh? Thought at least it's like what the are you brand right now. Like no one has like full diesel logos. Like diesel. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm yeah. stoked on this. Like no one's really wearing it. I'm at the VIP bar, the infamous VIP bar that everyone spends all of their Coachella at, and I turn around and it's just James Charles in the exact same outfit. Literally, as me. like you guys might have what might as like. Er, 
Might as well. I love the shady comment that Brooke makes now. Just wait for it. This is like when you know that you're really good friends, you make these kind of jokes. Just wait. Have one. Might as well have been a couple. Fully head to toe matching with James Charles. Yes. And it looks like you're like, um, your denim look with Jake. And <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, that was unnecessary of me. Sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, two years ago, too, I would have been so fucking pissed. Like, fucking so pissed. Like, go walk in the you corner had to go home. and face the... No, one, I would have, like, traded outfits with someone, probably. Like, I was... I would have been... So, I was... But what are the odds? Like, I'm not matching anyone else. And I'm just... It's, I don't think I've ever seen Tana without a vape in her hand, by the way. Like, if she's on the H3, there's a vape in her hand. If she's on, you know, an Instagram story, she's a vape in her hand. If she's doing an interview, vape in hand. Hilarious. And her my vape in hand. Twitter, too, all my Instagram Girl, put it down for an hour. first thing I noticed, I saw your thing, at the second he posted, I go, there's no fucking way they're wearing the same outfit. It's hilarious. And it's just, like, the odds of it all as well. Like, I the almost smoke. wore that day three. You know, like, just same time, same everything. I'm glad you wore it day one, because I saw some other people wearing it day two. So it's, like, happy. It looked like they copied you. That's good. Thank you. Obviously now James and I are like, we're civil or we're, we're, we're chill. And I, I talked about that on a podcast or I said something. And then one of the tea spill pages on YouTube made this whole fucking video, like spill sesh probably. One of those, like, saying... I think it's so funny that Spill Sesh, like, goes to Coachella and stuff. Like, that is common knowledge. I mean, she posted on, like, her Instagram and stuff like that. Um, so, Spill Sesh is at these events with these influencers, and they, like, don't know that she's, like, with them. <laughs> it's, like, one of my favorite things ever. Like, the most incognito person ever. Um, and they all, like, you know, talk shit about Spill Sesh and then, like, probably know her in person. <laughs> like, I like like Tana's such, such a, a funny fucking concept. Sheep, like everything she she's says. had a Montana. And it sucks those tea spill videos the way they work because it's like whatever they say in the video, all the comments are gonna like identically match. Oh, wow. Is that true? Let's see. Um, Specifically yeah. those. So it's just all these comments like a friend to all is a friend to none, a friend to this. As I'm like very much, I ride for my friends and I hate the people who wrong them. So it just like annoyed me that that was kind of the what people took away from that. When in reality, all I was ever saying is like. I spent a lot of time really harboring a lot of hatred for this person okay. and being so angry about our falling out and being so angry about who I felt like this person was at the time that I walked out of their life. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, let's say I moved to Utah or James moved to Utah or some shit like that. Like, I would have been able to just be like, okay, I fucking hate him, whatever. Like, we're in the same... We see each yeah. other. Yeah, and you know? have a lot of the same friends. And James is like, has become in the past like six months to a year like pretty close with like the people that I'm close with. Mm -hmm. And so it started to kind of be like, oh my God, Amari, what are you doing today? I'm going to James's. Oh my God, yeah, Alexis. It's like divorced parents Alexis, kind of thing. can you glam me? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. go paint James's painting. <laughs> I think, I think it's an interesting point and I'm gonna hear her I wait, not fully. I think there is something to be said about like, let's put it that like me and you, like our friends, like say we had a falling out with our friends. But if we have mutual friends and we're going to see that other person again, you know, you have to be civil with them. So I 100% understand that. And I mean, I've been in instances of, why is Garfield so itchy? Um, there have been instances in my life where I have, oh my god, like anytime I go back home to Derry, like my best friend, I think this is my mom texting me goodnight, so I'm going to, night night, let me start, this is very important. Love you, good night. Um, I think there's something to be said about, like, I can relate to this, like anytime I've gone home, uh, to Ireland, like, my friend group in Derry is very small now, and my friend group in Derry is friends with all of my old friends that I, quite frankly, hate, and they hate me. And I think that there's something interesting about when we're all put together, and we all just have to, you know, play nice to each other, or at least, if we're not playing nice, like, we're just civil with each other and stuff like that. Sorry, my mom texted me again. My mom, are you happy with your hair? I got my hair done today. Yes. Why would I not be? Yes. Sorry, just filming. Love you. Sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, even if we don't, like, get along, like, we're there because we have, like, a mutual friend who we don't want to just cause issues or whatever, I 100% understand that. I think the difference, though, is when you start posting pictures and promoting that person to your social media again, which is what Tana is doing, especially posting another one today. Like, that one was from Coachella, but there's another one today. It goes back on everything that you've said about feeling uncomfortable with James after all the allegations or, you know, all the cancellations or stuff like that. It goes back on that. And I think that's the difference. Like, I would... 
rather die than post all of my old friends on my social medias again because I do not like them. And they do not like me. Like, it's not something we would do anyway. But especially if they all had allegations against them or something like that and I'm going out of my way to promote it, I think it's different then. Anyway. Uh, like, nothing in specifics, but our, our shit just started, like, running very similarly to where I would see him all the time. We're like, Paris Hilton, she loves me. She also loves James. So anything Paris does, like, he's probably, you know, it yeah. just, like, started kind of happening like that. So eventually we were at a Paris thing and he, like, pulled me aside and we had this whole convo. Mm -hmm. And like, not the confrontation at the Paris Hilton party. Speaking of Paris Hilton, to Adam, love from Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton tattoo. I am that gay. We're cool now, and I, I hate that people take that and like, ru like run with it so crazy. It's just like it, sometimes it's nice to be civil with someone that you once like harbored so much hatred for. I don't like the concept of like you have to stick to one thing that you've said for like the rest of your life, like. You I think the difference comes into play whenever we talk about someone with the history that James Charles does. I'm gonna be honest there. I agree with, you know, not always having to stand behind something you said or whatever, but I think whenever you're, like, speaking out against something that someone has done that's, like, really bad, then, you know, changing your attitude on it is a little bit, you know. You, you did feel that way in the moment, and that was, like, the very real falling out that you guys had and stuff, but that's not to say that, like, you can't eventually be, like, civil with one another. I don't think that that's right. Yeah. Especially, like, when it does affect the people around you, you guys share so many of the same friends. And I think I was so angry for so long, and I also, like, very much only saw one side and never gave James a chance to, I guess, humanize himself or learn more details or whatever. I still don't know the whole situation. I'm not going to be the person to, like, whatever, but I can say, like... At least when I see him now, the few words that we say or the things I hear from my friends, I do think he's grown a lot as a human being from the person I once ended my friendship with and hated so yeah. much. I think I have as well. Like, just time has gone on. So now I, it can be like, hey, hey. Yeah, and like, I we, agree with that. I don't think that's so crazy, but I, she's I very get pretty. would see, or you'd be worried that people are going to have a negative reaction to it. I feel like, yeah, rightfully so, whatever. But it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your business. It's your relationships. I think it's just being like cool with someone is a good thing. Yeah, that's but, not to say you're gonna be at his house. <laughs> hey, sister. No, no, no. Every just day. like when I see him, it's not like we have to avoid each other across the room. And that's a grown thing for you to do too. It's not you don't want it at this. I 100% agree with that concept. I just think the concept changes whenever it's someone about like James Charles, who Tan has been so actively speaking out against things that he's been like accused of or done, and then like going out of her way to like post selfies and tag him and promote him again and stuff like that. I think that is the difference and I'm gonna keep reiterating that point because I think that that like is important. Age. Yeah. You should not be going to parties and having to like stay in the opposite exact side I of just, the house. I feel too like old for all of that and feel like we are too old. And obviously even when I saw him at Coachella, I was like, oh my God, we're matching, haha, ha, funny, let's take a photo, fuck this. Like it was like a decent conversation, you know? Like yeah. you can, when you see someone in such a small, percentile like that like it can just be like funny haha -ha, goodbye you know yeah and i think also, that's a good thing i haven't seen anything negative about it on reddit so far and i'm pretty on top of it so i love your reddit obsession right it's now. so it's probably gonna be so bad for me because it is like it's very horrible it's like well, no one has anything with the side nice of reddit. to say on reddit yeah you're obsessed with the side of reddit that's like talking about you no not about me well, you and your world okay we'll end it there what i've said i stand behind the concept of for me to sit here and be like, oh my god, Tan is wrong for this, is a hypocrite. Because again, last time I was in Derry, I have to act like this with people I'm no longer friends with, but are friends of a friend. I just think it's different when you're, like, like posting them to your social medias, to your audience, leaving your audience confused. Of course they're going to give backlash, or of course they're going to be a little bit confused. That's just my take on it. I want to know yours. We'll talk about it down below. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you in my next one. Okay, bye.